So Johnny Depp is releasing an NFT, Never Fear Truth. Now, when it comes down to this project, it is an 11,111 supply, 0.06 mint. This project looks straight terrible, but I think I'll mint it. I'll tell you why. Now look, when it comes down to this project, the website is very slick. They've done some very good storytelling when it comes down to sort of the B-roll of him kind of painting and crafting this story of him as an artist. Now the part that I don't necessarily like is the fact that there's only six photographic references. Now if I'm reading into this right, it means that there's going to be sort of six base images and then traits around that. The reason that I think this is weird is that with 11,000, with the supply of 11,000, six base traits, like six bases, that isn't enough. The other aspect is the 0.6 mint is a huge, huge mint. That almost seems stupidly cash grabby. Now, what I don't like about this is the fact that it doesn't seem to play in very well with what the culture of NFTs is and should be. I feel like if there's a supply of 11,111, there should be almost 11 base um, aspects to it because that kind of would play into it and when it comes down to the mint price um, if Depp is kind of uh, running this it just doesn't feel right like there is something that isn't congruent but I will say that with a higher mint price usually comes with a person that is purchasing it that usually has some liquidity which means that they're most likely going to hold it for a longer period of time the idea about this is it means that i feel like there will be people that are moving into this project that have a higher net worth that don't necessarily need to flip it the bite at 0.6 and need to flip it at 0.7 it looks like it can run up to um, a one or two eth type um, price but then with the supply it also means that it's going to be capped it's not going to run up as high we have seen with um, nice niche photography sets, they kind of run up quite good. But with the amount of traits that are in this, it doesn't look like it will kind of fit. So I, I sound like I'm kind of brain dumping a bunch of wish-washy uh, information, but I'm just trying to kind of talk through my process when it comes down to analyzing Never Fear Truth. Now, the thing about this project is I do feel like there will be some people that want to get it, and I do, uh, the storytelling and the way that they're kind of uh, describing uh, the process of the art and how it's coming together looks like it could actually turn into something like a little bit uh, more of a longer term play. Now, one thing that I do think that is a cop out is with this 0.6 mint, uh, this is what they say about owning a physical print. As a utility to all NFT owners for the cost of production and delivery, we will process for you a high resolution print of your NFT from the original artwork. Print it on Somerset uh, 411 GSM satin paper using professional acrylic inks and embossed with your own unique NFT number and Johnny Depp's official art certification. This print will be a unique work of art like your NFT and will only be available to the NFT owner. Redeemable once per NFT. And then they've got the two sizes here. Now I think this is a bit of a cop out because when it comes down to the production and delivery, they could, I feel like there's gonna be someone in there pumping in some margins. So the production and delivery might actually cost another two, three, 400 bucks. And it's like, why are you doing that? That seems ridiculous. I feel like that should be incorporated into the cost. I'm not cool with that. I'm not happy with that. But I do feel like this is something that could actually gain some traction. The long-term play, and it's a very, very sh sort of small long-term play, is the fact that there could be a one-of-one one rare that Johnny Depp does. He's well-connected enough that it can go to an auction house, which then kind of gets auctioned off for lots of money, which then means that uh, it brings awareness to the rest of the collection. Saying that, I would like to have a Never Fear Truth NFT. I would like to then get one of these sort of uh, physical prints and then hang that up somewhere because I feel like this is what we... Um, um, in the current space right now, I feel like we are far enough and we can see it fur further enough into the future to then make decisions on these types of projects and actually kind of um, hedge a bet. Now, when it comes down to the actual aspect of itself is if you don't actually get the print itself, that'll retain more value in the NFT, um, which is quite kind of cool. But overall, I don't think there's going to be enough variation and I'm still on the fence about it. Now, what I will touch on with the art is even though I say that the project looks a little bit bad and like sort of the numbers and how it's structured, I actually do like the art and some of the previews that we've seen. I think it fits very well in a minimalistic house. I really like the busy aspects and the fact that you can kind of get drawn in and there's different parts that you can kind of pull out from it. That's what I really like. And this is why I'm kind of drawn to it because there is that hedge that 
if Depp then runs this up further and he's got some connections and some plays and some people actually buy into this, it could then run up that, that price. But then also the fact that you could then get a physical um, artwork and a physical aspect of it could also play into this in the future. So should you buy the Never Fear Truth NFT? If you're the average NFT collector and you really don't have that much liquidity, no, you shouldn't. This is the type of project that I think people that understand their style, that have very large risk tolerances, the kind of people that can lose half an ETH and not kind of worry too much about it. This is an eclectic NFT collection with a utility that isn't really a utility, but I can see it playing out in the future. This is the kind of project that you need to get in if you understand the space and you know that you could hedge your bet with what could happen in the future, but you're not hoping on it to actually kind of make that big run and that big flip. When it comes down to the floor price of this, I don't see it dropping below mint because the people that are moving into this project aren't necessarily gonna be in it for a quick flip. They're gonna be in it for the art because of the artist that's involved, the artist Johnny Depp. So I think that if you are interested in this, it's going to be somewhat of a safe bet. Now you need to do your own research. This is not financial advice, but I also do think that the people that are gonna be holding this aren't necessarily going to want to be liquidating this. They're gonna be the ones that wanna hold this in their collection because it's part of history and it's part of story. So overall, that's my thoughts when it comes down to Johnny Depp's Never Fear Truth NFT and why you should or shouldn't buy into this project. If you found value in this video, please consider hitting up that subscribe button. While you're down there, also hit up the like button. As always, it's been a pleasure having you with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.